What's up gamers, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the buffs, nerfs, and changes made to Milani and Kinnich's kit. So since I hate long intros, and I know you probably do too, let's get straight into the video. So let's start with Kinnich. He got a few buffs to his multipliers which are shown here on screen, and these changes really just affected his normal attacks and charge attack damage. He also got a change to his C6, which used to be that when a scale primer cannon hits an opponent, it will bounce once between opponents, dealing 600% of Kinnich's attack as dendro damage. But now it will deal 700% of Kinnich's attack as dendro damage. Damage, and this increase in damage will definitely be noticeable and good for Kinnich as a whole. The last actual change to his kit was his passive. It completely got changed, and a TLDR of what his passive used to do was it allowed him to be in Night Soul's blessing more when exploring the map in Natlin when triggering Night Soul's transmission. It also allowed for more movement and new mechanics, and movement when using certain things in Natlin, basically allowing him to be more mobile. But now what makes it so that when he's in an area with a phlogiston device or devices, when he interacts with some harvestables, he will increase the movement speed of his party members by 15% for 10 seconds. He will then also be able to show the location of nearby resources on the Natlin minimap. I'm not too sure how I feel about these changes, and I think that the other passive was something new and different, but it now feels like they just decided to keep it as basic as the other characters in game. Let me know what you think in the comments about his passive change and also his kit change in general. Also, please like, subscribe, and join my Discord because I'm going to be hosting a giveaway to celebrate the release of Natlin, and you don't want to miss it, so be sure to join the Discord. But now for Mulan. Lani's kit changes, starting with her elemental skill. Most of these were just nerfs to her kit, which is kinda sad to see, but we gotta move on. Her Sharky's bite basic damage was reduced from scaling off 52.082% of her max HP to 22.636% of her max HP. Then her wave momentum damage bonus was reduced from 13.021% to 11% of her max HP. And then lastly, her Sharky's surging bites additional damage bonus actually went up from 39.061% all the way up to 56.592%, which is good. Her first passive also got a small change in the amount of natural points she gets when she picks up a floater that she creates. First it was 25 points, but now it's 22, which I personally don't think is a big deal, but just like Kinnich, her passive became a whole new thing as well. Her passive before was basically the exact same as Kinnich's, and her passive now is, well, literally the exact same as Kinnich, except with some slight changes, being that interacting with harvestables will regenerate 15 phlogiston, which is something Kinnich doesn't have. So yeah, it's pretty basic. You also gotta change her C2, and now when Mulani gains two of Surf Shark Wavebreaker's wave momentum stacks, when she enters Night Soul's Blessing, she will gain one stack when obtaining a floater, and additionally, aside from pre-existing Night Soul points regeneration, Mulani will also restore 20 Night Soul points in 4 seconds after she obtains a floater. But anyways, that's everything about these characters' kits. If you're interested in getting free stuff from my Natlan giveaway, be sure to join the Discord. Link will be in the description. Let me know how you feel about these new changes and please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.